in and has more from day three of Vikings training camp. The Vikings are one day away from having fans at the 2023 training camp. They're still not in full pads yet. That comes on Monday. Special teams coordinator Matt Daniels was at the podium today and he elaborated his thoughts on how first year defensive coordinator Brian Flores is acclimating to his role here in Minnesota. He does an unbelievable job of communicating. He really commands the room. He really demands a lot from that group and he requires them to learn and really, really absorb the information and be able to spit it out really, really quickly. A defense coming together with identity. There's a lot of ownership that goes into it. He says a lot, like, it's not my defense, it's our defense, it's your defense. And he, he really holds a ownership and accountability to that group. One player entering his fourth season has shown significant growth in training camp. A role for Coach Daniels. That's the beauty of, 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 of being a special teams coordinator, special teams coach is, we're really part of the developing process of these players. And you want guys like Josh Michellis to do what he has to do, ball out on special teams, and eventually he's going to develop and become a starter in this league. A defensive veteran evaluating how the first three days have gone. Yeah, I mean, I think there's still a lot of evaluation that goes on. We had a lot thrown at us defensively these first few days, um, and you want to see if a guy can kind of sink or swim. So um, I think a lot of the evaluation is kind of above the neck right now. Um, and, and still fits and technique. You want to be a you know real technician when you're out here through the walkthroughs and getting hand placement, all that stuff, um, because as we transition to pads, it's only going to go faster. Nine more practices for the Minnesota Vikings before their first preseason game on the road visiting the Seattle Seahawks. Reporting from training camp at TCO Performance Center in Egan, Nick Spiliopoulos.